If you've got your Bibles over there in um, 1 Samuel chapter 13, we've been dealing with Saul, and I look to finish him up uh, tonight and the issue that Saul had when he should have thought before he spoke. And we mainly look at uh, uh, verse 11 and verse number 12 of uh, 1 Samuel chapter 13. In verse number 11, the Bible tells us, it says this, And Samuel said, What hast thou done? And Saul said, Because I saw that the people were scattered from me, and that thou camest not within the days appointed, and that the Philistines gathered themselves uh, together at Michmash. Therefore said I, The Philistines will come down now upon me to Gilgal, and I have not made supplication unto the Lord. I forced myself therefore and offered a burnt offering. And we've been looking at um, the, the question of why do people attempt to spiritualize disobedience? That which, it's not questionable as to what the Bible has said. It's not questionable as to what is right for the Christian to do. It's not questionable as to whether or not, um, you know, the activity in question is something that could, uh, could be seen as uh, maybe good, maybe not so good. We're talking about doing things that they, they know they shouldn't do, doing things that for, to say that God gave them peace about it would mean that God has to go against himself. And you ask yourself, why do people try to spiritualize? Because they get real spiritual. You know, well, I've been praying about it. Well, the Lord has given me peace about it. Well, I, I just, I, I, I know that the Lord wouldn't, as we saw some different phrases people have used, I, I know that God wouldn't want me to be unhappy.